If you want to send a message with Chatterbox, there's a few different ways to do it. One way would be to send a broadcast that just blasts a message out to anyone in direct range. Nothing gets forwarded or meshed. It's just anybody that is within range of the of your device is going to get the message. So if I want to do that on the home screen, I'll touch the send button and type my message. So as I do that, um, it should get broadcast to everyone in range. And you can see that this device got it. And actually my, my other device that's off screen here got it as well. On, on the sender here, the two arrows up mean I broadcast it. The green up arrow here means it did go out. Any device that did get it, uh, they could reply to it by touching the reply button. And this is going to go directly back to the sender only. So here I can see Ollie sent me this OK. The down arrow means it was an incoming message. The green check means that I successfully acknowledged it. Well, the device did it. You don't have to do anything. And for the sender, they're showing it went out. And the check mark means it got a signed confirmation that the message is sitting on this device. You can scroll through messages on the home screen. Uh, anybody that sent it, I can touch that person icon to see what I know about the person so I can see different things, their location, if they've got it enabled and, and things like that. Another, another way I can send a message is on the uh, neighbors. So this is the neighbor screen. It's telling me who all is within range at the moment immediately. It shows me their name, how strong my signal is. I can send them a message. You'll see devices come in and out as the signal changes. So I've got my base station in range and these, these two other devices at the moment. I could send any of them a message by, you know, and, and if someone's showing in the neighbors and you touch send, it's going to go directly to them. There's no meshing needed. I can touch anyone's location and get information about are they moving right now where are they relative to me what what their last known location was and a timestamp so if the location is an hour old i'll be able to see that if i scan this qr code with a phone or another gps device it will pull up a map with td plus's device marked if i touch this icon of people here it's going to show me all the devices in the cluster. These may or may not be in range. Some of these, for instance, that one is not, not in range right now. It's, it's in another neighborhood, and I currently have no connectivity to it. But I do know its last location because that gets passed around encrypted through the mesh. For any person in here, I can see what are they. So this, these two are base stations. So they show up like a tower there. Matt, that is this guy. This is the root of the cluster, so it shows with a little king icon. That's the device that can onboard other devices. And these last two are normal cluster uh, devices, so they show up as a person. So for any of these, uh, I can filter just to see messages from them. So I don't have any messages from that person. I'm going to clear that filter. If I have a filter set, and I send a message, so it's showing that name, and I send a message, you can see the message is going to go directly to that person. So that's another way to send a message to a person. Also on the devices screen, if the person enables it, I'll be able to see their location and, and get coordinates and where they are relative to me and this link that I can scan to pull up a map. Also from the device screen for any device, I can 
issue commands if they have it enabled, such as what's your battery, how long has it been since your last restart, tell me all other devices that it immediately sees in range. So for instance, if I tell my base station, how long have you been up? And I can see the message was sent and, and in a few seconds I should get back an answer. Yep, so there are 5,000 minutes it's been up. My base station is just one of these uh, T-beam springs hooked up to a, a, a large antenna. Okay, also on the home screen for any device, I can see what path would be used if I send them a message. If I send a message to my base station, it should be a pretty short path <laughs> because I'm connected. So if I touch that path, yeah, it's directly from me to that device, no problem. For one that's a little farther out, for instance, this device here, I have no connectivity to it. So if I was to send a message, what would happen? It's gonna go from me to my base station. My base station does have connectivity to that farther out device. So this is the path that would be used. And this button here is looking at the mesh graph. That's uh, a little more complicated and I won't, I won't talk about that right here. Um, so that's the devices screen.